Welcome to building in winter one. So you're going to want to start with the rear panel and then the two arms that hold the ITX motherboard and your graphics card in place. Start by placing the small arm in the top with the notch facing towards the top edge of the panel. When you flip it over, there is going to be a screw hole where you need to insert a screw. Make sure you tighten this really well. Uh, this arm is going to hold a lot of weight and you want it to be very sturdy. Next, we're going to place the bottom arm into place. Here, you're going to want to also flip it over. This time, there are two screws to tighten. Make sure that the notch is facing upwards on both arms. Once you've tightened these screws, you're going to turn the rear panel back over. This is going to form the platform of your build. The next step is to add this GPU holding bracket to the rear panel. For this, you're going to push a screw all the way through the panel, put the bracket on, and then thread a nut onto that. Don't tighten it too much because we're going to need to be able to move this later. The next thing we're going to do is add the IO shield for the motherboard. Uh, after that, you can go ahead and put the motherboard in place by screwing it onto the standoffs. As soon as that is done, we're going to be adding the riser cable for the graphics card. And you're going to want to start by attaching that to the PCIe slot first, and then wrapping it around and screwing it in place on the other side. The next step is to go ahead and add your graphics card to the other side of the rear panel. This is going to slot into your riser cable and you're going to clamp down the GPU bracket on top of it to hold it in place. When you're finished, you can go ahead and set the rear panel aside with all of its parts on top. Now you're going to grab the front panel and attach the power supply bracket to the very front. There's three short screws that let you do this. And then you go ahead and screw the power supply into place. Once it's ready, make sure you turn that switch on and we'll get back to the rear panel in just a second. So now you can go ahead and add components to your motherboard and don't forget your CPU cooler like I did. Next, grab the fan and radiator plate and a couple of fans. You're going to screw this onto the fans and make sure you pay attention to the orientation. These are being set to blow air out of the case. Once those are attached, you can set that aside. At this point, it's a good idea to thread your power cable through the rear panel and screw it into place. Once that's done, we're going to grab the bottom plate and attach the feet to it. So what you want to do is put the feet through the holes and then use the little washers to secure the feet into place. Once that is finished, just put the fan radiator plate on top of the end plate like so. Now you might notice that I don't have case fans on these. Uh, that's because this motherboard just doesn't have enough fan headers, but normally you'd have either fans or fans and radiators uh, attached to this. Now all you do is you go ahead and grab some screws and you're going to attach this to the bottom of the rear panel. Put the fan plate on the end plate and you're going to put it on the rear panel like that and screw it into place. This is going to hold it and now you're going to turn everything sideways and move the front panel into position. We're going to do the same thing here where we screw it in from the bottom to secure it into place. Once you've done that and everything is ready to go, it's time to put the side panels onto the case. At this point, you're going to put the first side panel into position. And once you do, you can flip the entire thing over. Here, you can finish up all your cable management and realize that you forgot to put a CPU cooler on here. So you're going to go back and do that too. So now is a really good time to address water cooling in winter one. When you get to this step, you're going to want to go ahead and put the other fan and radiator plate on top and do the routing for all of your tubing on one side. Then you can put the side panel on for this side, flip the case over and remove the side panel from the other side. So you can go ahead and hook up the loop there. The reason you're doing this is because having a side panel in place gives the case a lot of stability when you're flipping it around. But for this air-cooled build, I'm just going to go ahead and put the fans into place. What you'll notice is they can be put into place before or after the side panels are installed. Plug the fans in, route the cables, and 
now you can flip everything back over. Um, once you've stood up the case, it's pretty easy to finish sliding the last side panel in place and the final end plate. Finish screwing it down and it will hold everything in place. And with that, your build is complete.